Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Wispy Woods. In this video, you guys, I'm gonna make it very short, okay? Now, what we're looking at here is Blue Bloods Season 3. Now, in my last few episodes, I showed you the importance of understanding segregative clues and why they lead into the different seasons and the different seasons of different shows and so on and so forth. Now, the point here, you guys, is that whether we understood Corbin Blue, okay, for his importance, even within the segregation and rearranging of his last name, understanding blue, it would have took us into not only Disney, but this show once again, okay? Now, that's neither here nor there, because I know a lot of people think that this is just widely spread just so people can see coincidences. Like, no, the point here, you guys, is that it's all strung together, okay? Because people try to, you know, they, they try to make me sound stupid because they try to say, oh, well, Everything's related, dude. You can just make a string theory from that. Okay, well, think about this. If it's that fucking common for someone to just fucking do, what do you think they did over the years? That's what the fuck they did, and they made it huge. So you guys have to take every single Easter egg that they put in their fucking game, and you have to go deep and understand the Easter eggs that the shows and the movies and the music are showing you, and then reverse it back. Okay, just like the Epsilon track tells you, we have got it backwards, okay, which is understanding our Easter eggs are not tied to just the movies, but they are a portal to the movies, but for us to understand the movies Easter eggs and why they are deeper clues. It's not that fucking hard if you just understand the shit. Now, even understanding a big list of this seasons fucking i mean re really think about the themes of the game and the, the themes of these fucking names okay family business domestic disturbance old wounds okay scorched earth risk and reward okay greener grass number seven nightmares okay number eight higher let education okay number nine secrets and lies come on now <laughs> number ten fathers and sons <laughs> come on i want you guys to understand the point here you guys is that the fucking seasons the shows and the movies and the music okay like i've said for the umpteenth time are not just references it's not just okay gta threw some fucking easter egg to mention it no they're mentioning it for something for you to pay attention and go watch the shit if you don't watch it i'm sorry it's fucking done. You're not going to ever see... You're never going to see their secret, okay? Like, I'm sorry, but it's it's as simple as that. You're never going to really see the fucking secret if you don't go watch the fucking shows and the movies and, and hear the music. If you don't experience it, if you don't hear it, then you're not going to be in on the secret, okay? You have to understand, not all mysteries are held with some physical importance, a lot of mysteries in the world are held by a secret, okay? And if you're not in on a secret, no different than what... I mean, think about it, you guys. What is an Easter egg? It's a, it's a secret between developers, right? Okay, so maybe they're trying to relay a secret here. And maybe I don't want to give away the same fucking secret. So I'm trying to hint it towards you guys so you guys can get it on your own, okay? But the point here, you guys, is that I'm showing you how to fucking do it. Take the Easter eggs from the games. Understand why it's talking about the movie or the music or the TV show. Watch the fucking show, the movie, or listen to the music that it's talking about. Listen to the Easter eggs within what it's talking about. Let that take you to the next clue. Just like a fucking mystery. Just like any mystery. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm... I'm sorry that I even sound like this at this point, but like, it's like, how do you explain something without giving it away? How do you do it? I'm trying so hard not to just tell you guys what the fuck this shit is about. But understand, it's a secret, okay? I can't just give it away. I can't. Now, I'm not going to add any more hype to what this already is, but you guys have to understand exactly how easy this is once you start to accept exactly how this puzzle was put together i mean once again even a tie to men in black once again <laughs> or the warriors i mean it's all segregated <laughs> by oz scott okay i'm just i'm trying to show you guys a code in which they put this stupid ass fucking puzzle together and it does lead to something, but of course it's not going to lead to anyone who doesn't fuck try. 
it's going to be a dead end to a motherfucker who waits to see if the motherfucker who's already done it has done it. The fuck? I'm telling you that it's not that hard to try. Try it. Try it for yourself. Because there are people, you can go to my Twitter right now and you can see a bunch of people doing it themselves. And this is a coincidence. How is it possible for multiple people to pull off just a coincidence? It makes no sense. But either way, don't take it from me. Take it from the show. Wood Hamilton Parkway crash there is now clear. Okay, Hector, let's try this again. What was the name of the guy who told you that the gun was a fake? Oh, help me help you, Hector. This is a waste of time. I'm with you. Let's just give it a few more minutes. No, no, no. I gotta get some air. Take an umbrella. What? Barometric pressure 8.0 and rising. Winds from the southeast at 10 to 15 knots. Chance of rain 90% with a likelihood of severe thunderstorms. A coastal flood advisory is in effect until noon tomorrow. Traffic in 60 seconds. You're pretty good at remembering some stuff, am I right? What did the guy who gave you the gun say to you? Hector. Here, under my chair. Okay, and what did he say when he told you that he wanted you to fire the gun in the meeting? It ain't real, Hector. It's just for fun, man. Like Grand Theft Auto Vice City. 